Tonight we're on your side taking a closer look at the signs and impacts of domestic mm -hmm. violence in our community. We were inspired to provide more information for you following a memorial last night in honor of Sherelle Johnson who was killed by her boyfriend last weekend. He has since been charged with second degree murder after admitting to the shooting. Friends and family now vowing to keep her memory alive, potentially saving others. Joining us now here in the studio, WAT 6 News Side reporter Madison Keevy, taking a closer look now mm -hmm. at how intimate partner violence impacts our community every single day. Yeah, Madison, let's talk about how often we see domestic abuse reported. Well, unfortunately, Lori, this is something that's underreported. One phone call of domestic violence goes into a 911 center every 30 minutes. One in four women and one in 13 men experience domestic violence. And in Knox County alone, the Family Justice Center sees 1,500 cases a year on average. As a community, there are ways that we can help recognize and prevent those numbers from growing. You pass through your neighborhood, and have you ever seen a couple of police cars at a house? The answer to that question could potentially identify victims of abuse. If you're not facing it yourself, you don't necessarily wake up and think about this every day. But very likely someone who's living just a few houses down from you is living in a very unsafe situation. Amy Dilworth hears stories of abuse every day as the executive director of the Family Justice Center. She says most victims don't even realize the gravity of the situation, and if they do, don't have the resources to leave safely. To help can start by just understanding. This whole emotional and mental and verbal degradation that starts to happen, where eventually the victim just feels like hopeless. Dilworth says it's a community's responsibility to insist that men, women, and children are safe in their homes. It's not about why the victim didn't leave. It's about why did the abuser abuse? When a victim leaves an abuser, Dilworth says it's the most dangerous time. That means safety resources available within the community are critical. How do we help them understand the dynamics of violence, of abuse? You don't see it going on because they don't want you to see it going on. IVA's Place is a program serving victims of domestic violence in Lenore City. And to be in a situation where they're heard and they're respected and they're cared for, it's amazing the transition someone can make when they're just believed in. So mm. things like isolation, mm. intimidation, fear, coercion, those are some of the ways that abusers assert their control. So the best way to help someone in that situation mm. is simply by telling law enforcement, and it starts by even just calling 911. That's one resource that can really get that person on the right track of freedom and safety. Just yeah. picking up that phone. Yeah. yeah. All right, right, Madison, thank you so much. Such valuable information there. And locally, as you see on your screen, there are resources if you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, the local 24-7 hotline number is right there, 865-521-6336. Jot that down, yeah. and if you have to, hide it. Put it somewhere. Right. And, so uh, you can find it. it easily. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, we've also put a full list of resources, mm -hmm. both local and national, on our website for you. Just go to WAT.com, click on the As Seen On section.